Today's my birthday and I'm in an urgent need to do a self-care day. So that's what we're doing today. I'm pretty sure today marks day nine or 10 of me not washing my hair. So this is going to be my pretty in-depth hair wash day routine where I show you everything I do to keep your hair super freaking healthy. It's something that I just started doing and I immediately noticed the difference and I am gonna start doing it consistently. And the one thing I've been pretty consistent at is not washing my hair that often. I don't know if this happens to you as well, but the days that I do wash my hair, my hair doesn't feel the same. It's like harder to style it. It's a little tiny bit frizzy. It's not as easy to just maneuver around, but on day two, three, it's the best. So since I had a bunch of events happening back to back, I didn't want to wash my hair. And I also, I didn't want to wash my hair that specific day. So I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back. So today's the day that we're going to do that. Today we're going to do our hair wash routine. And I'm also going to fill up the tub. I actually haven't gotten into the tub in so long. Like I can't remember the last time that I got into a tub. So. We're gonna do that today because it's my birthday. We're gonna have a self-care day, just relaxing, doing my hair routine, skincare routine, self-tanning, just absolutely everything that I like to do that brings me joy. We're gonna read a little bit, journal, like just everything, and it's gonna be our self-care day. There's no better way to spend my birthday than to just have a self-care day, in my opinion. Part of my self-care day was going to be to go to the beach and journal, read, meditate, and do a couple of self-care, mental self-care things at the beach because at the beach is where I'm, I feel the most at home, but it's raining. It's raining so bad, so no beach today. We're just gonna do that at home. This is probably one of those things that I've never done in my life and today marks like a month of me doing this and a month just means that I washed my hair four times. I was getting ready to buy a scalp oil. So I kept looking online to see which one would be the best one for my scalp and which one I should buy and I kept looking at different ones. I kept looking at TikTok and I started getting overwhelmed because everyone uses so many different oils. So then you should do this as well just in case and look through all of the products that I have and I was like, okay, what oils do I have? And I found this one that's 100% organic cold pressed brush seed oil by The Ordinary and I went online on Google and I was like okay let me, let me look this up does organic cold pressed brush seed oil does that work on your scalp like should you put that oil on your scalp and then it said yes definitely helps with growth with moisturizing your scalp with everything that the reasons why as to why you need to oil your scalp this oil does it and there was absolutely no need for me to buy any other oil as I already had it at home and I didn't only have that one I have like three other oils that are for my face that I bought for my face that apparently they work on your scalp as well so instead of you going to buy a oil that's going to be specifically for your scalp just look at all the items that you have at home and apply that just do your research and make sure that those work for your scalp as well it doesn't have to be anything specific and then that oil that I just applied on my scalp we're gonna massage it all around your head this is one of my favorite parts because it feels so good and look at this little cute scalp massager I am obsessed with it it's so freaking cute next step is applying an oil to the ends of your hair and again same thing people were saying on tiktok that you need to get a specific oil for that and to moisturize your ends and the tips of my hair are the ones that need the most love they end up so dry like i just cut it recently and they still look a little bit dry and sad so i'm trying my hardest to moisturize the crap out of them and to make sure that they're healthy but you don't have to get specific oil or get another oil for that i'm going to be using the same oil that i just applied on my scalp to the ends of my hair and that should be perfectly fine that's all you need
thing that I started doing is I started dry brushing. You literally do it before you're in a shower or in the morning and you don't need any products whatsoever. You just need this little brush. You're going to brush towards your torso or your heart doing this motion, not back and forth, just literally like this. And it feels so good. It feels like my entire body's getting a massage. You're supposed to do it for about 30 seconds to a minute per area and only about like once a week or twice a week. You can do it on your entire body except your neck and your face because your neck and your face are too sensitive. But below the neck down, yes, absolutely everything. You're just classy, I ain't trying to keep it concealed. Oh mama, I want it to stay it for long. If you tell me that you want it, baby, it's a gun deal. Oh mama, I want it, I want it. Oh, why you acting like you got to wait for it, honey? I know I've been in your head like shade butter, honey. You go out and tell your friends that we ain't nothing. They be in the group chat knowing that it ain't one, honey. Tell your ex man, brush up on his openers, cause I'm in California trying to put you where the ocean is. Hit the tape late like you just now opened it. <laughs> yeah. I believe that. Oh, and I know you think you're still on the low, but I heard how you feel from everybody you know. Oh, you're just crazy, I ain't trying to keep it concealed. Oh, mama, I want it, just let it fall off. If you tell me that you want it, baby, it's a good deal. Oh. Always, always, always use a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt. Supposedly, you are not to brush your hair when it's wet. It's supposed to be one of the worst things you could do. But I, I am not about to have my hair dry crazy. So I just brush it as soon as I get out of the shower so it could dry like this. Because the times that I've let it air dry or even blow dry it, but I hate blow drying my hair. But the times that I let it dry and haven't brushed it, it looks crazy. It's just all over the place and then even after it's dry and then you start brushing it, it still looks crazy. So I prefer for my hair to dry after I've brushed it, if that makes sense. I got this little bag from Gemini Beauty and the founder is a 17 year old, which is nuts. Insane. You go girl. I'm amazed. That's amazing. And she sent me four little things inside the goodie bag and it's so freaking cute. Daily Brightening Moisturizer. And they come in this little cute packaging too. I love it so much. Look how glowy this is. Sparkly as hell. The Daily Glow Serum. All you need eye cream. <sighs> smells so good oh my god in the last one i've been wanting a heart shaped gua sha for the longest time and i finally got it and i'm so excited to use it i can't wait to use it you're actually supposed to use this under the moisturizer so I guess I'll try it tomorrow. But it's so sparkly. I mean, of course it's serum. I just forgot to use it. I want it all. I feel like my days just fly by so quickly. And then the second I realize I haven't looked at the time in a really long time, I notice how late it is and how the time just flew by and I did barely nothing. I really hope you can hear me right now because my dog's going nuts right now. Bunny! I did not have enough time to go. Puppy! Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for saving the world. There's no one there. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. You can stay here with me, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go to dinner with my parents and my boyfriend's parents. I didn't have enough time to do my self-tan, um, so I'm gonna do my self-tan tonight when I come back home. Go to dinner, come back home, and that was my freaking chill day, self-care birthday day. If you were expecting this like super extravagant birthday, then that wasn't it. The same, I never get enough, get enough from your call me up, complain, you never feel enough, feel enough. I just said, yeah, writing all my dreams, killing all fears, should 
I did no foundation and I just did a little bit of blush, bronzer, mascara, and I'm gonna do a lipstick. I wanted to do like a super light makeup. I didn't wanna put that much makeup on and this took me probably five minutes to do. Yeah. Everything and everything. What if I don't comply? What if I take my time speed off? Come back to it is now the next day. My birthday is officially over. But I'm going to continue doing the self-care things that I missed to do yesterday, like self-tanning, because I'm looking really, really, really pale. I'm gonna shave my little peach fuzz as well because it's grown a lot. So my friend Kristen got me this little hairband and I love it. I love the color. It's so cute. How cute is this? Look at the color. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute. To shave my face, I use these little eyebrow razors that are super tiny. These are meant for your eyebrows, but everybody uses them to shave your face because they're really gentle on your skin. Not only does it shave your peach fuzz, but it also exfoliates your skin a little bit deeper than normal. Whenever I do it, my skin just looks really, really clear and I love doing it. Because I have so much peach fuzz on my skin, you can clearly tell the peach fuzz when I have makeup on and then the sun is right on my face. Then you see all the little hairs popping out, which is totally normal, but I think it's better for me to not have peach fuzz. And it's cleaner for my skin as well to not have peach fuzz because I sweat a lot. Like, I live in South Florida and I sweat a lot and it starts out on my face. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I just took a shower and it's very steaming here. My face starting to sweat, but that's the first thing that starts sweating. The products can go easy, more easily on the skin because there's no peach fuzz. Like, it's like a blank slate. She calls a fever. Set my entire body and then I also put on these pink silk PJs that I got from Amazon that was a gift from me to me for my birthday and I think they're pretty cute they're really comfy a little flashy for my taste maybe I should have gotten cotton so it's not as flashy but whatever it's fine it's something I'm gonna try that I've never actually I think I've done it once before but I'm gonna do it again and I'm pretty sure the last time I did it that which was the first time I'm pretty sure I didn't do it correctly or it didn't look that good but this is a little brush that you use to contour your face with your self tanner and essentially you just put it directly into the little brush and you're going to contour your face with it you're doing exactly what you would if you were applying a contour stick but you're using this does that make sense so i usually apply my contour stick right here like on the cheekbones i do it very very high because that's what looks the best with my face shape and then i'm gonna go down that entire bottom of my neck or like this little area right here i'm going to cover the entire area with this then same thing over here what i usually do is i mix the aisles of paradise with my moisturizer at night and it gives my entire face a really nice tan and it, this has worked out perfectly for me always i just wanted to be a little bit adventurous tonight and try the contouring again to see if i could do it right so let's see worst case if it doesn't look good which i'm pretty sure it will but just in case i can just apply the aisles of paradise at night before i go to bed tomorrow we're gonna do it on the forehead as well just the outline so literally everything you would do with a contour stick right here i always like to do a little tiny bit under my lip because it gives you this it makes it look as if you got lip fillers so it's a little tiny bit under like right there and then also a little line right here and another right here i'm not really sure if this will make a difference when i do it with a contour stick i can clear like i got lip fillers literally but with this we'll see tomorrow i think this should be good i also like to apply my contour stick on my eyelids i kind of feel like this is risky business right here because this could look terrifying if I do it wrong, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should take that out. If not, it's gonna look like I got punched or something. Okay, so not that. Everything else, yes. Okay. She calls a fever. Who do you do, baby? Can't nobody. I'm gonna go to sleep. 
and I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is now the next day and I woke up with my face being pretty puffy. So I'm gonna use my face roller that I love using literally every single day. It feels so good already. It also helps to wake you up since it's so cold. Still need to shower and take off the self tanner. The self tan looks really harsh right now, but once I shower, it's gonna be more subtle and it's gonna settle more into my skin. I get excited about what's in front of me. And I keep thinking about the boss that I can't see. Shit, I'm in love with all your good. Just say the word. Doing the contouring with the self tan isn't really that worth it. You can tell a little bit of the difference, but it's. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think I prefer to use the tanning drops so that way I can still do a little bit of my skincare. What do you guys think? Actually, you are able to see a pretty good difference. Like my, even my jaw kind of looks like more sharp. What if I gotta do to get you next to me? My mom got me the Tatcha water cream moisturizer and a little bit of a splurge of a moisturizer and I'm so happy that I got it as a birthday gift because I am obsessed with this. Want you to guide me through your features. Who do you do, baby? And I'll follow the leader. That's all I have for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.